Good evening, everybody on Cloud of Cliff. As you know, uh, we have some bad news tonight. Um, Ryan couldn't be with us. Uh, both of his dogs are sick, so we pray that they're uh, that they're getting better. Um, so we're going to learn to appreciate Ryan so much tonight because uh, we're not going to be singing as much as we do, and whatever we do sing is not going to be as good. So we just ask you to, to be patient with us, and uh, if it's bad in the first song, um, just turn the volume down. You can do that when you're home. You can't really do that at church, so I feel bad for everyone that's here. Um, so we're going to try the, uh, the first verse of Amazing Grace. Um, so we take just a moment of silence before we sing. Yes, God, for his assistance and his presence. <clears throat> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved and set me free. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. The challenge with that first verse is that we sounded really, I think, decent, um, and it's we want to sing the second verse, but that's a temptation. We're not gonna we're not gonna sing the second verse because the first verse was, was decent. We don't want to hurt it. So we begin as we always do in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your spirit. Take a moment to call to mind those times in our lives when and where we have sinned, and to ask our God for mercy and for forgiveness. <clears throat> And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, and give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. For the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And so we pray. O God, who manifest your mighty power above all, by pardoning, showing mercy, bestow upon us, we pray, the grace that abundantly blesses us, and make all of us hastening to attain your promises, heirs to the treasures of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, you say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, it is my way. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit inequity and dies, it is because of the inequity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response this evening is, remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Remember, remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness 
Remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your, your mercies, O Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion in mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found in human appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. For reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? The man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? And they answered, the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> not too long ago, when I first came to Baldensville, well, I just shared this story not too long ago. That, um, when I first came to Baldensville, I, I'm not a really good cook, and I live uh, next to the convent. And so at that time, there were three sisters there, Sister Celestine, Sister Bernadette, and Sister Marcia. And Sister Celestine is no longer there. She's at the villa. And at the time, uh, if, you, if you know Sister Celestine, Selly, as we call her, um, a pious woman, a prayerful woman, just a great example of, of humility and kindness. So I'm a really terrible cook, um, but I didn't know that I was a terrible cook until you start to cook, right? That's just generally how it works. <clears throat> so sometimes I experiment and I would share it with the, the sisters. And so I experimented with this tilapia stew. And tilapia is a, is a fish, um, and it's not the best fish for stew. I'm not sure there's any fish that's really good for stew. 
So I made this tilapia stew that I brought to the sister's house, and uh, the next morning was 6.45 Mass. And so Sister Celestine was setting up for Mass, and I, I go to the sacristy and get ready for Mass, and um, Sister Celestine didn't say anything about the soup. So I asked her, I said, you know, Sister, how was the tilapia stew? And she didn't answer, so I thought, well, maybe she didn't hear me. And so I asked again, I said, you know, Sister, how was the stew that I, that I made last night? And she turned, and in a very kind and, and wonderful way, she said, oh, Father, you can't be good at everything. Um, <laughs> and I'm not really good at much. But I thought it was interesting because she was kind in how she responded. And it reminded me that um, humility is a part of who we are as a disciple. And, you know, this coming Saturday, we celebrate confirmation with students from St. Mary's and St. Augustine's, and we'll be celebrating right here with Bishop Lucia. Then I think about the, the idea of confirmation or any of the sacraments. You know, we receive the sacraments because we know that we're missing something, right? Um, and we know that when we're a sacramental people, we're a stronger people as a community of faith. And so that's why we celebrate the sacraments as a group. That's why it's so important, especially confirmation in the Eucharist. But what's unique about it is that every confirmation student is asked to choose the name of a saint. Um, and they choose the name of the saint because they recognize that this individual is someone who struggled to understand what it meant to be a son or daughter of God and achieve that great sense of holiness. And that's what we're all called to do, right? We're called to be holy people. And so today, um, it's unfortunate that Ryan's not here, uh, but we're going we're gonna to sing the, uh, the Litany of Saints, and we're going to use um, the saints' names that the students have chosen. So I just ask uh, all of us to kind of uh, close our eyes, and I'm going to go off camera. And uh, maybe, Joe, if you could just turn the camera to the altar. And um, I just ask us to prayerfully remember these confirmation candidates, to remember the, uh, the great benefit that they are not only to their family, but to our family of faith, and also to give them the confidence and the wisdom that none of us are perfect. And yet, in our imperfections, we need God. And in that needing of God, we understand what it means to be a family of faith, a community of faith. And it's that family, that community, that we find strength, and we call upon the saints. And so we take a moment of silence, and then I'll start with the uh, litany. Thanks. Gracious God, we come before you and we recognize your presence in our lives. We ask that you come upon our confirmation students, help them to understand your great presence, help them to trust that our God accepts them as they are, that we are what we are by God's grace, and God's grace towards us has not and never will be in vain. Guide all of us to be a family of faith, recognizing our inadequacies and trusting in God's presence and the benefit of one another. And so we pray. Saint Mora, pray for us. Saint Lou, pray for us. Saint Oliver, pray for us. Saint Dean Patrick, Pray for us, Saint Elizabeth Ann. Pray for us, Saint Rose. Pray for us, Saint Sebastian. Pray for us, Saint Emmanuel. Pray for us, Saint Juliana. Pray for us, Saint Constantine. Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us, Saint Patrick. Pray for us, Saint Daniel. Pray for us, Saint Peter. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Anne. Pray for us. 
Saint Sue, pray for us. Saint Teresa, pray for us. Lord, help us always to trust in your presence. Help us always to have the confidence in the communion of saints that we are all called to holiness. Lead us, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Love us, Lord. Be with us. Amen. 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 Let's at this time we stand and pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God, true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. But I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mindful that our God hears the prayers of his people, we place our petitions before him. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may more and more put on the attitude of Christ and empty ourselves so that God can raise us to a new life of faithful relationships and loving service, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the students who were confirmed this weekend, that the Spirit will give them insight and understanding so that they may recognize God's invitations and follow the path of life, we pray to the Lord. To the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For peace in our cities and neighborhoods, <clears throat> that God will help us recognize the systemic injustices that exist within our communities and give us the courage and wisdom to work for change and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. To the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are suffering from the aftermath of storms or wildfires, that God will protect them from further harm, help them to connect with family and friends, and fill their hearts with courage. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19, that God will ease their pain, help them to receive life-enhancing treatment, and restore them to their loved ones. We pray especially for those listed in our bulletin, prayer line, and book of intentions. We pray to the Lord, the Lord our prayer. for all who have died, that they may be clothed in the in new life of Christ's resurrection. We pray for the deceased members of the parish, Joe Falardo, Barbara Gunn, Lorene Blasher, Elizabeth and Mariella and Anna. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the quiet of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And so gather with all our prayers into one, those spoken and those echoed only in the silence of our hearts. We lift them up through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
<clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you and that through it a wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we say, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Our mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life from the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of Lord Christ, we may all be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout our world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious and indeed all people everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, St. Mary Ann Cope, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So, my friends, we pray the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us off one another, send Christ peace from a distance. Peace. Peace of everybody online. Peace, Teresa. Peace, peace of Peace, Father. Peace, Joe. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of a Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just take a minute to pray together with Hail Mary for all those people that that we've promised to pray for, but also um, all those people that, that no one prays for. You know, we, we come in contact with so many people every day, um, and it's so many times no one prays for them. So we take a minute to pray for, for both sets. And so we pray, Hail Mary, Amen. full of Amen. grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most woman, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. We have one announcement for today. Um, the Happy Holidays fundraiser has begun. Now, with two exclamation points. Um, if you did not receive a letter or tickets in the mail, please call the parish office. Um, as many of you know, the Happy Holidays tradition here at St. Augustine's is a long-standing tradition. Um, and we have a great committee, a stewardship committee, which just is excellent. And it's, um, it's one of our biggest fundraisers that helps us to, uh, to support and to drive our mission here at St. Augustine's, but also in the community. So we thank you in advance for your, for your generosity and for your participation in that. And if you have any questions, you can call the office and ask for Kathy Riddell, and uh, we'll take care of you. But just uh, thank you very much, and there'll be more announcements about Happy Holidays and all that it is and all that it represents to our parish here and the large community, and uh, we're just grateful for your participation. Let's stand for our closing prayer. Graciously raise up, Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and the manner of our lives. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you to everyone who joined us uh, online and watching us on TV. And thank you, Anne and Sue and Teresa and Joe. And thank you, Marianne, for letting Joe out of the house to, to do the camera for us. We appreciate that. And so the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is then we go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what do you think? Want to do that verse again? Amazing Grace? 713? Yeah. So you're probably out of line. If you're still watching, you're watching because you want to hear us sing. Um, <laughs> if you shut the TV off, then you didn't want to hear us sing. Um, I'm going to take my glasses off and my mask on.